Welcome back. And yes, let's make another controversial video. And I start with stating that there is nothing wrong with the brain. And I talk about the brain um, in conditions such as uh, fibromyalgia, long COVID, ME-CFS, chronic Lyme, um, and you name it. And all these labels are basically attempts to describe the symptoms that someone is experiencing that has a chronic illness, so to say. You always land uh, at some point where you can say that there is something going wrong in the brain. Because as we know it right now, the amygdala and the limbic system can create symptoms. And those symptoms are there to protect you. But of course, it doesn't make sense at all. And it's destroying your life in the long run. So why is the brain doing this? And then we can say something is going wrong or something is not working right. And then we start to go on a path to fix the brain. But as I've come to understand after many years of working with people is that there is nothing going wrong. Absolutely nothing. The important question to ask is then Against what is my brain protecting me with these symptoms? And let's say for the, uh, for the sake of the argument that the symptom is a crash and fatigue and pain. So what can be so bad that my brain is protecting me against it with such severe symptoms? That's the first question. Then my job is to find the stressor. And these stressors are usually in your body because well, sometimes it's triggered by the outside world, but that what has been triggered is usually already inside of you. And it is my job to find it and to make you connect with it and to make you feel it and to make you process it. And what we see then is that the symptoms disappear. And that is because it does no longer make sense for your brain to protect you against something because now you know that it is there. Before, the brain was screaming as loud as it possibly could to not make you look at something. But now when you're looking at it, the symptom is no longer needed. This, this, the, 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 the protection or the distraction doesn't serve a purpose and it can wind down or disappear instantly and that's funny right because who would have thought that once you connect with that stressor you would discover that it is indeed very overwhelming and that there is indeed a very good reason for your brain to protect you with these severe intense symptoms because the stressors that are going to come up are definitely not easy. This is, just, this is not just a feeling or an emotion. This is something disturbing. But usually it only lasts 90 seconds. And if I am, let's say as a coach, able to co-regulate you, or maybe you can already do this yourself, we can guide you through this experience you would discover then that the brain actually did you a favor. The symptoms that were in the, in, in the long run destroying your life were in the short, short run protecting you against very intense and severe feelings. And that is a good thing in the short term because you have programmed yourself or conditioned yourself in a way that you don't want to feel that. It's not comfortable. It's not nice. You, maybe they were there already like uh, decades ago. And as a child, you weren't able to feel it. Well, now you can. You're an adult and we can release it from your system. In many brain retraining programs, they then want you to guide, your back, guide, guide you back into a state of safety, telling you that everything is safe, etc. But the brain is not protecting you against safety or calmness. Your brain is protecting you against the very opposite. So if you would apply those brain retraining techniques of safety and calmness, 
you're telling your brain that the underlying stressor is indeed very, very dangerous. And as a consequence, you'll need more symptoms. Therefore, you need to go the opposite way. You need to tell your brain that it is okay to have all those kinds of stressors, let's say extreme panic, fear, extreme rage, that that is okay. And you can program your brain in a very short amount of time that you're willing to feel those kind of feelings and not just the pleasant ones. Taking the path of telling yourself that you're safe and calming you down is not always the best path to take because things will come up as a consequence before your body was cramped up and now it's going to relax. And as a consequence, old stress will come up and your brain might still perceive those old stressors as a danger and protects you against it. And then that protection mechanism can also be called distraction, a distraction mechanism. I hope you found this video useful. And if you're interested in a release process, then check out the website. And I wish you a beautiful healing journey because healing can be very, very beautiful. It's a process where you let go of a lot of old stressors and that alone will completely transform you. Your life will no longer look the same and that's going to be a very good thing. So, see you.